Right then, what's a good thing to fill during International Week? Awards. There we go then. Let's get Don, shall we? Player of the Year. Oh, everyone's Player of the Year, shall we? I've gone to Don because... Oh, these are the odds. Oh, we're going to do the odds first. OK. All right. All right. Okay. Here we go then. Erling Haaland is 3-1 on. Odegaard's at 6s. Saka at 6-1. Rashford at 14-1. Here is then everybody's picks for Player of the Year. Everyone's gone for Haaland, but for Don Hutchinson, who's gone for... <laughs> You're right, Steve. <laughs> Why don't you go for Martin Odegaard? Uh, well, let's ask Don Hutchinson now. Well, because he's been absolutely sensational. And I nearly went with my heart. I nearly went with Zinchenko for what he's going through and the performances that he's put in. Oh. But I remember all the games that I've commentated on this season. I've done the last five games. And the kid has been sensational. He's been out of this world. We all talk about Kevin De Bruyne being one of the very best, and rightly so. I think this guy, the way he's played this season, is definitely, in my opinion, the best midfield player in the Premier League. I think he's been outstanding. The best player, Don? Yes, I think so. I mean, I mean, Haaland's got his goals, granted. I, I, I like watching Erdogan because I like the way he plays. I like the way he's got balance. I like the way he manipulates a ball. I like the way he takes it in tight areas. He's got an assist in him. He's got an eye for a pass. He's very easy on the eye. He's silky. I think he's been amazing. You'd have him over Saka, out of interest, Don? Well, for player, I would. I would. I think he's been that good. I think that when you talk Arsenal down, you can throw Saka in, you can throw Zinchenko in, maybe Saliba. It was a tough choice, but Erdegaard stuck Zinchenko. out for me. Oh, Stevie, he's been yeah. amazing. You can't talk about Zinchenko in the same breath as Saka and Odegaard, Don. Come on. No, what I Come said on. with my... Stevie, I said with my heart. I said what he's all going right, through right, go, uh, and how he's still that. performing at this level, right. he was worth okay. a mention, but I definitely went Odegaard. Shaka, you went Haaland. I, I, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't realize there was another. There was another candidate in all of this. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, Haaland is, is rewriting goal-scoring records <laughs> by the week. Huh? Forty-two uh, goals in thirty-seven games. And, and, and he, while, he was the while, problem six months ago. Oh, he's, <laughs> a he's a problem. He's a problem. Huge problem. And, that and, boy. and while I understand Don going with his heart and and Odegaard and, um, and giving Arsenal's position in the in, in the table, if we're talking individual awards, no. again I, I don't I, try I, your I, eyes. Go with your eyes. Understand. Well, let's no. see. Let's see, if, let's see if Don has Haaland in his best eleven <laughs> okay. of these Ooh, go. so far. Uh, let's take a look at this. Yes, indeed, Haaland is there. Long of course. Sa wow. Mm. Do you know who strikes me as someone you haven't included, Don? Oh, well, I was going <laughs> to... Go on. Mar Marcus Rashford. Rashford. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're going to upset someone, aren't you? I think that's pretty strong, though. I think that's still... Pre I, I, I think Botman, when Stevie was talking about centre-backs mm. with Van Dijk before and he was thinking of what centre-backs um, has been playing well this season, I think Botman's been outstanding. Saliba, I had to go with. It could have been Gabriel, but I think that was the best partnership. Trippier has been brilliant. Sinchenko, as I said. Why no Rashford, Don? Uh, just, just because I love Erdegaard. Nothing you against forgot, Marcus Rashford. You, you forgot. No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, I picked, I picked the midfield, and then I realised, oh, I've got Party in, I've got Casemiro and Bruno Gimaresh in. I need to put Erdegaard in. I've got, to, I've got to shoehorn him in somewhere. So I'm sorry, Marcus. I love him. I think he's been amazing, and I know I'm going to be in the minority. But I think that's pretty strong. Uh, Ali, would you like to uh, join in? OK. You know, when the conversation was about player of the year... Yes. If I hadn't picked Erling Haaland... Yes. I actually was thinking about Marcus Rashford. So if there was anybody who needed to be shoehorned into this starting eleven, yeah. it would have been Marcus Rashford. You could have got rid of Bruno and uh, him up. Well, either... Either Thomas Partey or Bruno Guimaraes. One of them comes off the field. Odegaard drops into the midfield, and I'm having Marcus Rashford on the field. There is no way you can deny Marcus Rashford from what he has been able to accomplish this season. He has become a player that we expect to score goals. That wasn't the case before, and it's all been because of his productivity. It's all been because of performances. He has been undeniable this season, and for the last month and a half, two months or so, I don't think there's been a better player than Marcus Rashford in the Premier League. So for me, no question, no doubt, 100% Marcus Rashford belongs in that top 11. Stevie? I, I would have gone for Rashford. I would probably have taken Partey out, kept Guimaraes and put Odegaard in, in the three in there. Um, I was thinking about centre-backs. 
I mean, Botman. I mean, Newcastle's only lost 19 goals yep. in the Premier League. I mean, that's fantastic. So they've got to be doing the job. So I'm actually happy with that. Botman and Saliba. However, in goals, I would probably have gone for maybe De Gea. Right. Because Too he's obvious. made big. He's made Too big obvious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Too obvious. Oh. Too obvious, Stevie. Think outside that's the, the box, the, man. But, David but Raya's going to get a big the, move in the, the summer. the best team should be obvious, should it not? David Raya, Shaka will know. David Raya <laughs> is going to get a top move in the summer. He's been amazing. Come on, Shaq. Oh. Back me up. He, 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 he may very well do, but he's <laughs> not been better than Nick Pope. I don't think he's been better than Aaron Ramsdale either. Wow. I wouldn't have him in my in my starting eleven. A big part of Newcastle's 19 goals conceded yeah, Pope, has uh, has been Nick Pope. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I would I would have him uh, in my in Pope my, the here. I'd have Pope over the here. Right. The here's too obvious. Yeah, yeah it's too, too obvious. obvious. Sure. Uh, so we go, we go from the positives Sorry. and the excitement to the other side of the scale. So we talk about the flops of the year. Uh, Raheem Sterling for Stevie. shaka has gone for Mudra. A bit harsh, Shaq. He's only been here wow. a couple of minutes. Wow. Ali's gone for the whole of Liverpool. That's a cop <laughs> out. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean? Oh, okay. Don, I'm so glad you've gone for Shamaka Skamaka because this Shemaka. is what this is what you had to say when he signed, of course, oh. for West Ham. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Gianluca Skamaka has gone to West Ham. Don, you are so excited about this. I am, I am, Dan. I've, I've seen him play so many times for Sassuolo, and he's what, 6'4, 6'5. He's big, he's strong, he's aggressive. He doesn't mind doing hard work. He comes across very well. His English is very good. I heard an interview today, and his English was fantastic. He can link the play, scores goals. He gets in the box. He's really, really good in the air. And if he brings, it brings the same attitude that he had with Sassuolo into West Ham, which I've got no doubt he will because he's a fantastic young player. I can only see it being a success. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Hello. Uh, speaks English. Nice yeah. guy. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah. Lovely. Every time uh, I've seen English is terrible. Very good oh, English. Very good English. It comes, it comes oh. across well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> comes across very well. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Don? Uh, well, everything I said was actually true, and that's why I picked him as being a flop, because he was so outstanding in Italy. You know, everyone wanted him. He was going to sign for PSG. Kylian Mbappe wanted him through the door, but he shook hands with David Moyes, and look at this return. Oh, John. I mean, for a guy that's got oh, ability, yeah. oh, whoa, whoa, three rewind, goals rewind. and no assists. Everybody wanted him, but he decided to go to West Ham. <laughs> what? That happens no, a lot. No, Stevie. That? that happens a lot. Hey? <laughs> Who's everybody? Who's everybody? Stevie. Everybody. Stevie, apparently, apparently, speak to Jules. Oh, no. Speak to Jules. Speak to Kylian Jules. Mbappe wanted him at PSG, but unfortunately, he shook hands with David Moyes. Oh, no. Juve, Inter, Milan, all fancied him. Didn't oh. want to take the chance. Oh, he's and then he, he played 16 games, <laughs> three go. goals, no assists. He will there be back go. in Serie A in the summer. Oh, wow. Blum an egg. That's that. Oh, well, Don's oh, turned his back on him very quickly. Everybody yeah. wanted him. Right, love Everybody him. wanted him. Liverpool, produced. you can't get away with Liverpool, Ali. That's why, why, do you mean, why can I not? Because you, that's not right, is it? What do you mean it's not right? The biggest flop of the season is Liverpool. Well, yes. Well, yes, but You've that's... You've been watching Liverpool. Yes. <laughs> yes. Given, <laughs> given the done. expectations of Liverpool I know, where but they we were. Want, we want name. Well, you only put that. I was wishing I had done that. Uh, well, you put Raheem Stone, which actually... I did, good, that, I? That's but, a good call. But as soon as I saw Ali, he went... I wish I'd done that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have been in the echo, Stevie. You'd have been in the echo. Oh, that's done true, that. yeah. Yeah, again. Well, well, he's only been there a couple Yeah, that's half. Come Would on. Be. Well, he's only started two games. Yeah, exactly. Because he's been awful. No. <laughs> that's 100 million. Wow. Everybody wanted him, Shaq. Yeah, everybody. But he shook hands. He shook hands <laughs> with Potter. And it costs 100 million, and, and you can't get into the starting lineup. Harsh. He'd be, he'd be only playing backwards. Come back in a minute. There we go. They're all going back. They're all on that plane. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.